So we are inside of the Ram TRX. We have two interesting mods planned today that are for the interior. We have discussed already that this truck is pretty freaking awesome. I absolutely love it. In my opinion, there is nothing out there that compares to this right now, but it is missing something. And that is a good place to put your cell phone. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today, as you saw there in the beginning, we are sitting in the TRX and we have a really interesting mod coming today. Kind of two mods. Let's talk about them. Your door handles here go all the way through. You're not really gonna put a cell phone in there, especially if it's a phone you care about. You kind of want it somewhere padded. Now you have this option down here where you can stick it in there and it will kind of charge. The, the wireless charging in this is not the greatest, but you could jam it down in there and that kind of works, but it's not my favorite option. Outside of that, you don't really have anything but the cup holders, which if you, of course, if you have actual drinks in there, you can't use those. But we have kind of two different options today. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the different options that we have for the Ram TRX or even the Ram 1500, the Rebel. All of these options will work with both of those different kind of trucks. So the first one, of course, is going to be a Pro Clip. Now, the Pro Clip is a really, really interesting design, and this time they actually include something called the Magic Mount, which is perfect for the iPhone 12, 13, and 14 because it has a built-in magnet, but even if you don't have the iPhone, this actually comes with a stick-on magnet, a really, really low-profile magnet that can go on the back of your phone to give it the same kind of functionality. This is a no-alteration kind of mount, and it's gonna sit right here, and it's just gonna basically use tension between two existing panels, no tape, no screws, nothing permanent to this installation. But if you don't like this installation or the look of this or the functionality, whatever it may be, there is another option. So we have another one from a different company and this one is called Course Motorsports. This is their iteration of a cell phone mount that will go into the very similar position. It'll be right around here. Now, as you can see with both of these, they do both have a magnetic puck because I do have an iPhone 14 that I can just slap right on on there but both of these are even though very similar are pretty different in their installation methods so the course motorsports one very very slim very pretty much nothing to it but this one does require some dash disassembly and maybe that's not your thing so we're going to kind of go over both of these the pros and cons of both and why i actually really love both options so let's get into it this pro clip one is going to probably be the easiest one but there's a lot of options with the pro clip as you can see there we do have your typical ball and socket so you can put different mounts on this after you attach the base plate to the location here so let's go ahead and get this attached and we'll talk a little bit more about this and then we're going to talk about the course motorsports so starting with the pro clip guys like i said it actually comes pretty much just like this this is all you get and then you screw on the base plate here to allow yourself to be able to use any one of their specific phone mounts. Um, it also comes with a tool called, yes, the gap opener. That is gonna allow us to insert it over here and create enough of a gap to go ahead and snap this in place. Nothing is permanent. It is very easily removable and that's it. That's all there is to it. So we'll go ahead and get this installed right over in this area here. Insert the gap opener and then you just kinda work the phone mount into place. While the gap opener is in place, you can actually feel this back part clip into place and then we'll just stretch this part around to the front here of the AC vent. So with that in place in the back, I can feel it is seated behind the, uh, the entire piece here. Now you can stretch the front part of it over right into where the air vent goes. So just like that. It is now installed and you can see it is very solid in place there. Now with that in place, we can go ahead and put our mount on, which as you guys saw is the magnetic mount that they include called the magic mount. This is purchasable right from their website as well. I will of course link all of these things down in the description below. Because it is just a ball and socket, you'll just uh, push it in place like so, and then you'll just tighten up the collar. So since I typically film with my phone, I had to grab another camera to show you guys a little bit better view of what this thing looks like with your phone actually stuck to it. So just like that, pops right into place and it's ready to go. So you can easily see your phone at a glance. You can actually adjust this ball socket all around. And as you can see, it's pretty sturdy on there. It actually gives you a really, really clear view of the phone and yeah, it's easily accessible. And whenever you're ready, you just grab it, pull it off and you're good to go. That is clipped into place back there. And then of course around to the front of the vent right there. And that's it. 
that's how that one's installed now where the pro clip really shines is the different attachments so if you have the the iphone or a phone with a magnetic mount already that's a great option or you could even do this kind of option now this one will actually pop on the same way kind of ball and socket right on there comes with the charger and everything and what this does is you actually install the magsafe charging puck from apple inside of that little circular opening and then it will actually hold your phone in place magnetically and it will charge while it's doing it so really cool option there i'll actually show you what this looks like installed on my corvette because that's the option i'm using there this is my corvette zr1 that has the pro clip installed with the magsafe charging puck you can see it right there and if we come in here with the phone you can actually take a closer look at that i love this pro clip by the way all that is is the apple magsafe charging puck stuck in place there so i can charge the phone and also have it mounted in the car at the same time and if we grab the phone and stick it in place just like that it is now charging and it would also be obviously very well held in place for me now again this particular magnetic mount comes with little steel plates you can stick to the back of your phone if you don't have an iphone but if you do it already has that stuff inside you can just slap it on there and it's good to go there is also another option instead of this magnetic puck where it's just your typical phone holder like this you slide your phone down into it and again you're good. So a bunch of different options from ProClip makes this thing really versatile. But let's take a look at the Course Motorsports and see the difference between the ProClip and their offering. Just like installation, de-installation is just as easy. Just like that, pops right off. Now we are on to the next mount. The next one is the Course Motorsports option. As you can see, it's got the padded magnetic attachment as well a ball and socket accessory mount just like the pro clip but definitely installs differently so for this one we actually have to remove the surround around the screen here in the trx and it's a lot easier than you may think so if we come up here to the top you'll see a little rubber insert we can grab this and kind of remove it just like that and that will expose two phillips head screws now, depending on which truck you have, those might be Torx head screws, Phillips head screws, or even in this case, you could still use, looks like a seven millimeter socket on it as well. But either way, we gotta take those two out and then we'll just grab this and actually pull this whole thing forward just a hair, just to gain access to the backside of this part here. So first, let's go ahead and get those Phillips head screws removed from the top part. The bolts are about that long and uh yeah they're not torqued in there super tight or anything so be careful this is just plastic after the screws are out you'll just go ahead and grab up at the top of the unit here and tug forward and it will pop a couple clips and give us access to the side parts here we need to install the course motorsports phone mount i perhaps tugged too hard you flicked too hard damn it so with the entire infotainment center popped apart like this, we can actually come behind here and see where it is we gotta actually install the Course Motorsports unit. Obviously this has a little bit of a leg on it, so you're probably asking by now, where does that go? It actually will drop into a little pocket back behind surround here. So let's see if we can take a clearer look at where it needs to go. So we're actually able to turn the unit around quite a bit and you can see right there is where that leg is going to drop down into so it will be kind of supported by the existing structure in the back here i'm going to go ahead and put it in place so you can clearly see what i'm talking about so here it is in place guys you can see that leg in the back is actually being supported by the clip right down below it and then there's actually a foam piece right there that will allow it to not scratch any surface on your screen here. Now there is another part to this installation for me. I'm actually gonna put one on the other side as well. Course Motor Sports and ProClip both make an option that will fit on either side. So if you wanna have one on each side of the screen, you can do that with either one of these two companies. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the other one on and then we're gonna pop this thing back into place to show you what it looks like once it's all installed. Both ball and socket mounts are in place. And once it's all reinstalled, that is all you can really see before we put our mount on there. Now, just like with the Pro Clip, the Course Motorsports has a couple different options as well for different mounts to make sure that your phone is covered, regardless of what kind of phone you have. So let's talk about those. The first one with the Course Motorsports is the one that I got here, and this is just a magnetic pad, so we'll stick to the back of my iPhone. But just like with all the other options, this does come with a little, really, really slim, low profile piece of steel you can put on the back side of your phone, whether you have the iPhone or not, that will still allow you to be able to use this. And this is it here, so you can see 
just how thin that is. It's literally probably a millimeter, maybe two thick. That would stick to the back of your phone and this would allow you to then use the mount. So if you have that on your phone, obviously you can see it would stick to the mount just like my iPhone will. Now, there is another option here that they also provide and that is the very MagSafe puck charger-like attachment. It's just the same with the ball and socket in the back. You screw it on there. And then the bottom here is a USB-C port that they actually provide the cord and the cigarette lighter for. But obviously with the RAM here, you have the USB ports right down here that you could easily run that cord from here down to there to make sure that you have the ability to charge as well. So either one of these two options will provide you a magnetic connection. One of them will charge, the other one will just hold your phone. Same kind of thing as the Pro Clip though. We're just gonna pop it into place, then tighten up the collar and we are pretty much good to go. So just like that, and just tighten up the collar and we're all set. Now, like I said, you can use either the rubberized one or the charging puck, either way, it's a magnetic connection and you can use it with any phone you want. As long as you have this, it will hold it in place. So guys, that's pretty much the two relatively high-end phone mount connections that I have found in my searchings online. I prefer the phone to be right around here, so there's not really a lot of other options for me to mount the phone in this area here. There are a couple options that go up here, but I think that's too high. I think these were perfect. So if you had to ask me what my absolute final opinion is, I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these two. I'm a big Pro Clip fan, so I will probably swap this out and put my Pro Clip back here. But at the same time, these Course Motorsports options are very, very nice, especially if you want both of them to match and look really cool on both sides. But again, I guess you can do that same thing with the Pro Clip too. They make them for either side, as well as some options up here. So Pro Clip really has their game down, but Course Motorsports is looking pretty good too. So at this point, I'm gonna say it is a toss up and it's really gonna come down to personal preference. Either way, these are both really cool options. Hopefully this helped you out a little bit. If you were looking to see what phone mount you wanted to get, one of these two is pretty much the way to go. Once again, busting out the other camera for you guys to see this a little clearer so I can go ahead and show you exactly what will happen. Obviously, this is my iPhone 14. You can just stick it right on there and it is in place. And that location is really cool. It allows you to have still clear access to the start stop and it is not impeding the air vent at all. So very cool. Really like the Course Motorsports, really like the Pro Clip. Like I said, personal preference, which one you may want. That is gonna do it for the video today. Hopefully you liked what you saw. Hopefully I was able to make your decision a little bit easier on which phone mount to get, or at least which two to look at. If you guys liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep creating this kind of stuff for you. I'm really, really loving the TRX. And every time I do a new thing to the truck, I wanna kind of share my experience and share the modifications with you guys, because these are really cool trucks. They're basically perfect from factory, but there's just a couple different little things you can do to make your experience even better. These phone mounts, of course, being one of them. I think this is a really cool option. So if you guys agree, smash that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, guys, because I'm going to have a lot of content like this coming you're not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.